Hey guys, today I wanted to share with you a twist on a traditional pot pie recipe. It is a vegetarian pot pie with roasted root vegetables that pair really well with garam masala spice, which then we are going to add some coconut milk to. That's going to create this really delicious decadent sauce. It's also simple to veganize this recipe as well just by choosing the brand of puff pastry you use. All right, let me show you how to make it. So for this little root vegetable medley, we are gonna be using sweet potatoes, fennel bulb, parsnips, which if you haven't tried a parsnip, it's a really great vegetable. It looks like a carrot, but it's white, and the flavor is somewhere between a carrot and parsley. I know that sounds like a strange combination, <laughs> but in a good way. We're going to chop our sweet potatoes into one inch chunks, and you can add those to the bowl. Then we're gonna slice our fennel into thin wedges, and you can add those to the bowl. And for the parsnips, you wanna do about half inch chunks. Then we wanna toss these vegetables with a tablespoon of olive oil, and then a half a teaspoon of garam masala spice. Now this is a spice blend that includes all these kinds of warming spices. It also works really well with root vegetables like these because they're on the sweet side, and it really does bring out their sweetness when you roast them. Then you're going to transfer these vegetables onto a sheet pan, and you wanna roast them at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. We're just roasting them to bring out their flavor and to give them a head start. Then in a large Dutch oven, you're going to add a tablespoon of olive oil, and then to that, you're going to add a cup of frozen pearl onions. So I find they're easiest to find when they're frozen, to be honest, and then they're much simpler because you don't have to peel them. <laughs> and you can just put them in the pot just like that. You don't even have to thaw them out. And then you're going to cook them until they start to become kind of slightly charred and golden brown. Then at this point, we are going to add a full can of full fat coconut milk. So I say that because a lot of times you'll get to the store and you'll see the coconut milk and it'll say light coconut milk. That actually is too thin for this because then our interior of our pot pie is gonna be really soupy. So it's better if you can just find, it'll either say traditional coconut milk or it'll just say coconut milk. I wouldn't even say light. That's the kind to get. I know normally you would use like a vegetable stock, but I think you'll find the coconut milk just takes it up to a whole other level. And at that point, you want to add back in your roasted root vegetables. And then I also like to add a cup and a quarter of fresh kale that you've just torn into bite-sized pieces. That will just give you some more protein to this recipe. And then you're also going to add in a teaspoon of freshly chopped sage. There, so now our interior is all ready for our pot pie, and all we have to do is transfer it to a pie dish. Now at this point, it is a good idea to allow this mixture to cool down just to room temperature, because when you put the puff pastry on top, if it's too hot, it'll start to melt the puff pastry before it hits the oven, and that's not gonna be a good look. Then when your filling is cool, you can go ahead and roll out your puff pastry and just fold it over your pie plate, and I typically will trim it just so that all the edges are even. And once it's nice and fitted, go ahead and pop it in the freezer just for 15 minutes. You want that puff pastry to be really cold, almost frozen, because that will allow it to puff up more um, and will make sure that it doesn't kind of sink in the center. Then when your pastry is nice and firm, you can brush it with some egg wash. Now, if you did want to make this recipe vegan, you could leave the egg out. I just wouldn't brush it with anything. And then I also like to add some fresh sage leaves. I find when those sage leaves actually bake and crisp up in the oven, they become a really nice flavor combination with the crispiness of the puff pastry. Place it on a baking sheet, and then you're gonna bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes, just until that pastry is golden brown and beautifully puffed up. And for more vegetarian entrees, you can click this playlist here. And if you want a few vegan options, you can click that playlist over there. And I'll see you back here next week. Until then, bye.